I don't want y'all to see that yet, as well as I don't want you to see the treasure yet. I'm not going to show it in this video, because I want whoever gets the box first and all the ones after to be surprised, you know, when they get it and see what the treasure is. Okay, so I'm going to show you how the notebook is made, hopefully, without showing you what I have wrote. Okay, my light just dimmed. Let me fix it. Oh, no way. All right, so here we go. It's like this, and what you do is you open it, okay, and you see that. So it's different types of um, scrapbook paper. Now what you do is that folds down. I did that fast. You've seen the peak writing behind there. All behind there I wrote my note. And so this one also, once that comes down, and if anybody wants to put like a small square piece of paper on here so that you can write on to have more writing spots, I'm leaving that up to y'all. Y'all can do that if you want to, whoever has it decides to do that. Okay, but after folding this one down and you read about my treasure, you'll fold it back up. And then, like I said, you can put papers here to write on if you want to. But you will turn it back. I mean, you'll turn another page. And then on this one, where the other one folded down, on this one, it's going to fold up. And see, it's just a long piece of white. That's how mine is. And I wrote all on that about my treasure. And that's what y'all can do. You don't have to stick to one. If you need more space, put paper. If you need to even go to another page, that one's going down again. I've alternated it. Down, up, down, up, down, up. If you need two or three of these pages, that is fine. You use however much you need to write about your treasure. And I'm going to explain more about that too. So, and then when this gets filled up, Whoever has it can make another booklet. You don't have to do it exactly like this one. You make it in your own way. And probably something better than mine and easier or whatever. And uh, add it to the box. You keep this one in there because everybody needs to see all the treasures and read all their stories. So this is the book. So this one goes down. Uh, this one goes... Up and I'm trying to keep it up in the view of the camera. Down. Where is it at? Up. Down. And then you close it. And the back side is the same as this paper. So that's the booklet. So I'm going to have that in there with the treasure. And then that's not going to fill the box up. So then I'm going to stuff it with a lot of tissue paper just to fill the box up and to keep the treasure still and not moving around. And then I'm going to take a piece of paper and I'm going to write the instructions of what you're supposed to do, the order you're supposed to do it in. And I'm going to have it laying right on top of the tissue paper. Then I'm going to put the lid on it. Okay. Then, I'm going to put that box, see this cracker barrel round paper sack? I'm going to put that box in this paper sack, leaving the cracker barrel stuff showing. That's going to be the decoration of it. I'll put my name and address on here, and then whoever I send it to's name and address, and I see now I wasn't paying attention. We've went to the second video. We're four minutes and something in. I hope nobody missed anything. Blah. Anyway, so I'm going to whoever I send it to first. It'll be my address and their address on here. But it'll be in here, and I'm going to fold it up around it all nice and neat and tight and tape it closed to take it down and put the addresses on here to mail it off. Okay. Now that... I told you that part. So what I'm going to be... do That's what we're going to do. We're going to have a traveling treasure box of treasures. 
I'm going to send it to somebody. You're going to get it. When you get it. Okay. See, I want to remember every little detail that I have thought of that I want to do. I'm not going to start. I'm not going to mail this package off until I have had 10 people tell me they want to do this with me. They want to receive the box to see the treasure. So down below this video in the comments, you have got to tell me you want to join this and do it. Okay? After you leave that comment, you need to email me. And my email is in the description box under all of my videos now. You email me and you give me your name and your address telling me that it's for the traveling treasure box. Because it may be that I might get that in my email before I see the comment under the video. I don't know. Oh, Lord. I'm going to have to plug up my camera. The battery's getting low. Y'all give me a minute. It's always something. Oh, my Lord. Always, always, always. Something, something, something. Okay. Now. Get that back straight again. Okay. So. Where was I at? What was I saying? I see it's going to interrupt me. <laughs> uh, I didn't want this to go like this. Why can't nothing ever be smooth and right? What was the last thing I said? Oh, my word, why do I do this? Oh, ten people, let me know in the comments below you want to do this. I am not sending the treasure box off until I get ten people. Then I'm going to make a list, and this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to put y'all, the list of people, in alphabetical order of where you live. And I don't want this to only be in the United States. I do want internationally to be able to do this. Because remember, I want this to keep going and keep going and keep going and keep going until the end of the world. So it needs to go all over the world, not just in the United States. Okay? Okay. So... Um, I will put y'all in alphabetical order of where you live at. If it's in the United States, the state will come first. If there's like two or three people in the same state, then I'll alphabetical order rise their town and the state, you know. And if it's... Mom, <sighs> y'all hang on. Uh, always interruptions. <laughs> anyway. And if it's internationally anywhere else besides the United States, I'll just alphabetical orderize that from where that is too. Alright. Once I get ten people and I get them alphabetical orderized, I will know who the first person is. Then I will mail the box off to them. I will email you and tell you that it is on its way. I will get a tracking number. I will give you the tracking number to it so you can keep up with it and know when you're going to get it. When you get it, you are to email me and say, Okay, Shay, I got the treasure box. That's before you even open it. Okay, now, the next thing is, let's see how it takes a little bit of force to get it open. Anyway, once you email me and tell me you've got it, then what I want you to do, okay, now hear me out. This is not just for us YouTubers, okay? This is where we're, I'm starting it at, is on my YouTube channel. All of my YouTube subbies will see this, and that's where it's getting started from. But, um, all of my subbies that decide to do this, not at first you won't, 
but eventually you'll put the video on your YouTube so your subbies will see it. So if they decide they want to join, they should let you know. You let me know, and then I'll get, add them to the list, and they'll be joined. Now, if you have a YouTube channel, and you make videos and you put them up on YouTube. You are to make a video of you opening the treasure box for the first time. Out of this part first. Add the hair on that, sorry. And then the box. You will video yourself looking through the treasures talking about it, whatever you're thinking about it, and all this. Um, give me a minute, let me think. Yeah. You will read about the treasure out loud on video. And later you're going to put that, or you can go ahead and put it up on YouTube, but you will put it up on Unlisted. So that nobody can get it and watch it. Unless you give them the link. And you don't give nobody the link. Till I tell you to. Or till I tell you you can go in and set it on public in your YouTube channel. And then, okay, so that's for the ones that makes videos. Would love okay let me say this too about the ones that makes videos I would love when you video yourself opening this I would love you to be seen as you're opening it I want you to be seen plus I want the box to be seen as you're opening it if you don't make face videos I'm not gonna make anybody do something they don't want to do then you can just video yourself opening the box and your voice talking but I would really like to see your face as you're doing it. Okay. For the ones, because I know there's a lot of people that has, and I'm getting hot, y'all. I'm going to have to get up and cut my hair on probably before this video is over with. Whew. Anyway, there's a lot of people that has YouTube channels, but they don't make videos and put them up. So if you don't make videos and put them up, that's fine take pictures of all the treasure, lay it out in a way that you can see everything, take a picture of it, and even the story in the notebook of the stuff, open it up, take an up-close shot of that so that it will be readable. And just hang tight, I'll tell you what you'll do with the picture in a minute. Uh, once you do that, So I'm trying to think and get my thoughts straight here. I'm trying to keep this all in order. Once you open the box on video or take pictures of it or both, even if you make videos, take pictures of it too, you know. Um, okay, so then you will have opened it, looked at everything, and you will have done that on video or by taking pictures of it. Then... If you've done a video, you won't do this on video and you won't take a picture of this, but you will add your own treasure to the box. You don't get to keep this. It's not like a swap or a trade-out thing. You do not get to keep anything in this treasure box, okay? It all stays in here. You will add your own treasure to it. Then you will write your story explaining your treasure and about your treasure in the storybook then you pack it all back in there seal it back up if you can use the same bag fine if not whatever you can use fine put your name and address on it then you email me and you say hey Shay I got the treasure box ready to go off again when I get that email I will email you back saying okay Send it to such and such at, and I'll have their address. I'll, in other words, I'll be telling you who to send it to at that point. Then, you'll put their address on it. You'll mail it off. You'll get the tracking number. You will 
track it. You will give me the tracking number, then I will get in touch with that person by an email and give them the tracking number and let them know it's on its way to them. Then, once you've mailed the package, you've got to email me and let me know you've mailed it to them. When you've done that, I will get on my laptop because I have made a Facebook group for this and I have named it the Traveling Treasure Box. I think I need to put group behind that. I never did put group behind that. And that's what I want to do. I'll try to do that. But it's going to be the Traveling Treasure Box group on Facebook. Now, it is, I have made it a secret group. Excuse me. Excuse me, sorry. So, only the members of the group will be able to find the group and read the posts in it. All of the members will be able to post in the group. So, what I'll do is I'll get on here then once that person tells me they've sent the box off to the next person. I will get on here and I will send you an invite, an invitation, to join this group. You will join it. Then you will get to read the description, all the rules that I have wrote in there about this, all the posts I have done made because I have made several posts. I've even got videos on there already. The, the first four videos that I've put up on YouTube and y'all have seen, I've put them on the group. You won't have to watch them over a second time if you don't want to. I'm just letting you know. So you'll check it all out. The picture I have on the group is a map. Okay, because it's just fitting, traveling, you know, traveling treasure box, map, map. Okay, so... You will, once you are joined to the group, and Elizabeth's driving back up. Oh well, anyway and all. Um, you will post your, and this is something, see that was something else I meant to do before I made this video and I forgot. Well, I'm going to ask you here then. Becca, you seem to know a lot about Facebook, more than I do anyway. So, let me know if this will work. Remember I said make the video on YouTube unlisted. So can they upload that same video onto the Facebook group still as unlisted and will all the members in the group be able to watch that video? Or will it need to be set to public? Let me know, Becca, or anybody else out there that knows about that. Because um, that's what I want you to do. I want you to upload the video of you opening the box and looking at everything. If you didn't make a video and you did pictures, upload the pictures of it. Make sure you have a close-up shot of the story of the treasure so that it can be readable on there. But also, you can type in what you thought about the treasures you found when you opened the box and blah, blah, blah. That's your post. You'll put it up. I will then be able to watch that video, look at those pictures, read your post. Because once the treasure leaves me and I send it to the first person, I will never see it again in person. It's not coming back to me like we do other things before, trading swaps, and it goes around and it ends up coming back to the person that started it. I'll never see it again. So for me to continue having fun with this, and see who all's getting it, where it's going, see them and their expressions as they open it and stuff like that, and then what they add later on in the next video, because remember, each time you add your own, you don't show it on a video, but then the next person that's opening it will get to see that new treasure along with her at the same time, you know. So... That's how I can continue to have fun, and all of us members that have done done it can keep up with the traveling treasure box, you know, keep up with it, track it, and have fun with it. We're fixing to go to part three, we're 1944, 45, 46, I know I'm not going to do that the whole way, but I just want to warn y'all, let you know, I hope you don't miss out on anything, but you'll post it. 
So all of us members will be on here, and it's a secret one group, so we only 